shit, bro. I'm gonna be reviewing the types of school couples there are. Listen, I know a lot of niggas still be in school, bro, and I know a lot of niggas just be having specific school couples, bro. You know what I'm saying? You only see them in school, you text them, you may FaceTime, but y'all will never link outside of school, bro. Y'all will only ever see each other in school, bro. Y'all are school couples. Types of school couples. Not gonna lie, I've been waiting to do this video, so let's go ahead and get into it. First up, the toxic couple. All right, bro, we all know the toxic couple. Let's be real. You know, the type that fights in the hallways, breaks up every other week, probably got caught cheating on each other multiple different times, and honestly are a prime example of why you shouldn't date in high school. But for whatever reason, they keep on- I ain't gonna lie, y'all Y'all was some menace. Y'all some brave souls if y'all niggas was over here arguing and fighting and shit like that. In, the, in school, in the hallways, bro. Y'all was some brave niggas, bro. Could never be me. I'm sorry. Could not be me, bro. Uh-uh. Hell no. Hell no. Y'all niggas couldn't handle that shit outside of school? Y'all niggas really couldn't handle that shit outside of school? Y'all had to bring that shit to school? For everybody to watch? My nigga, no one wants to see y'all fucking brawl for shit y'all got going on outside of school? Pushing and just keep no on going. And usually they try to pretend like their relationship is amazing, even though everybody knows it's not. And when there is a problem in a relationship, they always blame each other. Like they never take accountability. Honestly, I don't know why they're still together and they probably should just break up. But even though they say they hate each other every single week, uh, for some reason they still think they love each other. If I was rating school, these, they would get a three out of ten. Honestly, it's pretty annoying, but sometimes it can be entertaining. Plus, it's always good school drama too. But before we really get into this, go sub up to the live channel. I want to get this live channel to 10k by the end okay. of the month. If we do, I'll Crazy, upload an extra way. video next week. Don't be hell trying to get the video ready, but hey, we're going to do it. So make sure you sub up to the live channel. And the video on the screen Crazy, is probably the boy. best one on there. So go ahead and click that shit. Anyways, back to the video. Next, we got the lovey dovey couple. All right, bro. This couple is just straight up annoying. Like, this is the type of couple to just make. I hated them couples for the past. Fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. Listen, if y'all niggas are some lovey dovey ass niggas in school, fuck y'all. Sincerely, coming from me. Sincerely, fuck y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all niggas was over there. Why is y'all over there smooching, making out? On some, on some, on some, on some. On some. Oh, I could probably use the green screen for this. Hold on, this is probably a good chance to use the green screen. Because I'm gonna give y'all a good example. Hold on. I'm, about to, I'm gonna use that shit right now, actually. Bro. I'm about to give y'all a good example, bro. I'm gonna give y'all niggas a great example. <clears throat> First and foremost, my nigga. Why is y'all niggas even in school? Hold on, let me see where it's at. I did put up on his side. Oh, da bye da bye. Hold on, actually, hold on. Hold on, now. let me find it. Here we go. Here we go. Save that. Boom. But anyway, bro. Why is y'all niggas... Bro. Them niggas be over here in school, right? Locker. Boom. Y'all see the lockers, right? I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. These be some of the most annoying niggas. That could possibly even touch school grounds, my nigga. Literally. Touch school grounds, bro. These niggas is dead annoying as fuck. Hold on, let me put this shit. Where is this shit? Let me put this shit under. Damn, how far is my camera? I did pull it up on this side. Bro. When 
when I tell y'all niggas, bro, them niggas was dead annoying, bro. I mean, them niggas was dead annoying as fuck. Them niggas would be in there on some. <laughs> don't worry, girl. I'm gonna see you after class, all right? You don't, you don't, you don't have to worry about me, baby. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make me smaller so I'm the size of the locker, bro. I'm gonna make me smaller. There we go. You don't have to worry about me, baby. <laughs> don't worry. Of course not. I promise you. No one in this school is top of our relationship. Listen, I don't want none of these skinks. I don't want none of these hoes. I don't want none of them. I just want you and you only. Now come here, baby. And nigga, I don't be looking. I be over here just walking with my book bag. The fuck? Like, what the fuck is these niggas doing? Like, what the hell y'all niggas even doing that shit for, bro? You see what I'm saying? Bro. When I tell y'all those were the most a type annoying niggas that you could possibly run into at school, bro. The school relationship ass, kissy kissy lovey dovey ass niggas, bro. That shit pissed me off, bro. I hope y'all failed. <laughs> I literally hope y'all failed. I ain't gonna lie. I was praying on y'all downfall. I'm not gonna lie. Most definitely was. I was definitely praying on y'all downfall, bro. Y'all y'all shit was bro, that it was Annoying for no reason, bro. The shit was just mad annoying for no fucking reason, my nigga. I'm just letting niggas know that right now. That shit was annoying for no fucking reason, bro. I did pull it up on this side. Nah, I can keep that. I ain't gonna lie. Where the hell is my camera? I did put it up on this side. You was trying to take my spot and how it go. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. Get my shit gonna tweet. These niggas was annoying, boy. I tell you, them niggas was annoying. Annoying, bro. They got in the hallways, just plain sight, right in front of everybody, bro. Like, they just do not care. They also always be hugging on each other. They always together. And they always talk about how they love each other. They would never leave each other. And blah, blah, blah. But Bullshit. honestly, this couple's a And I wish they would break up. Which <laughs> most likely will happen. Because most of the time, when a couple is like Actually, this, no. one of them is probably cheating. Lie. Or both of them. I ain't gonna lie. I did see this one couple, though. They are strong as fuck. Like, y'all always got that one couple from high school, bro, that's strong. They went to the same college and everything. Like, they're strong, bro. They've been middle school strong into the same college and everything, bro. They're strong. I don't know what the But if that's not the case, they'll probably end up being high school I don't know what the fuck. Which honestly sucks in my opinion, but hey, good for them. And they also always be posting each other on social media, talking about, I love you, babe, blah, 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 blah. Like, bro, nobody wants to see that, bro. Be talking about two-month anniversary. Like, bro, nobody cares. And they always be calling each other corny-ass names. Like, I love you, lovey-dovey pookie bear. I love you, sugar plum, baby boo. Like, bro, shut up, bro. That shit's just so corny. I thought we left those little pet names back in the 2000s. Weird-ass shit. Overall, I'm gonna give them a 5 out of 10. Even though they're annoying, they're still good for each other. So, hey, good for them. Moving on, though. Next, we got the weird couple. Okay, these are the golf emo. Or they both could be school shippers and they're just plotting on everybody. I mean, you really never know with these type of people. They're both kind of weird. Both probably in band or theater. They just kind of work with each other. Honestly, these be the couples that really last because they're both kind of unique and both kind of just perfect for each other. Plus, nobody else wants them, so how are they going to cheat? But, yeah, usually these be the more low-key couples. Kind of stay out the spotlight. You just kind of do them. I like these couples, so I'm gonna give them an eight out of ten. Actually, no, I'm gonna give them an eight point five. Next, we got the freaky couple. They all had a couple like this in school. Yo, I got merch now. Even better, actually, I got a new brand. The brand's called Off Brand. Just, just look at this, bro. This looks iconic already. I'm having a white, black, and I'm also gonna have the same brand. design on shirts too. So. 
creepy. Happy Prime Month. Tag me in it. I Besides that, that's pretty much it. They be going crazy in the bathroom or behind the bleachers or in the janitor's closet. Hell, even in the stairwell. Most likely in the hallway. Like, wherever they could get it in. I ain't gonna lie. Get it in, bro. This be I ain't gonna lie. The craziest place I've seen, a they weren't even a couple. Bro. They were literally, they were literally not even a couple. Should I turn the green screen on back? Actually, no, nah, I'm not even gonna do that. I'm gonna just wait. I'm not even gonna turn the green screen back on for this one. I'm gonna just wait till the game turn it back on. But look, bro, the craziest one I possibly seen. Yeah, that's a red yeti. The craziest one I possibly seen, bro. I ain't see it, but I seen a screenshot. No, I seen a video clip. It went around school. Bro. Nigga was in a classroom, right? Nigga was in a classroom. Um, and he took this girl's jewel. He took this girl's jewel, and you know how the, the fiends back then was OD. Like, I don't know if they slowed down in the school system now, but back then they were crazy, my nigga. Like, they were out of off the fucking chain. Alright? He took this snow bunny's jewel, right? He said, he told her specifically, they still are. Oh, fuck. Bro. This nigga was a... Bro, this had to be... This had to be a villainous ass move, bro. This had... Bro, this had to be... This had to be a, a, villain, a villainous ass move. I'm telling you. Hold on. Let me put on some music, bro. Because this is the first shit I'm thinking of. He gonna tell her specifically. She gonna say, let me have my jewel back. Hey, can, can I please have my jewel back? He says... You can have it on one condition. Give me head right now. <laughs> it's either head or the jewel. <laughs> so you know her answer. <laughs> you know her answer. <laughs> In class. In class, my nigga. In class, bro. For our fucking jewel, bro. He said that? Shit, I don't know. He wasn't in my class. I seen a video, though. But for a jewel, though, in class, sitting next to everybody, they were in the back, so I guess the teacher didn't see him. I don't know how the teacher didn't catch him, though, because when I listened to the video, the nigga was in the middle of teaching a fucking lesson, my nigga. A fucking lesson. So I don't know how the fuck. Was she just quiet as shit? What did it look like? I'm like, bro, what the fuck? This nigga got your dick out in class. She over there. This nigga over here sitting here. Looking at the damn camera. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, bro. Nigga, how's that shit? How do y'all niggas have that shit? And I don't know what the fuck, bro. And niggas sitting next to him just sitting here looking at the board like nothing's going on, bro. Like niggas is not just paying attention to them. I'm like, bro, is niggas really just not paying attention to these niggas? Be the future OnlyFans couple. I ain't gonna hold you. Most likely the girls a former though, thought or future thought, depending on how the relationship goes. And the guys are former fanatics or whatever. They just trying to get in whenever they can. Like making out in the hallways is too amateur for them. They need to be fucking. Hey, they just training for their future OnlyFans career. Gotta have that Kobe mentality. Anybody can watch me work. It do not matter. Might as well put on display. Y'all free performance. Funny thing about this group hey. is usually one of their parents is strict, and it's hard for them to do it at their house. So most of the time they choose forward, either the school or the back see either Actually, one really is fine. Oh, all in all these couples are all right long, in my opinion as long as you don't do it in school which most was. of them do i'm cool with you hair. but most of the time they do in school so i gotta give them a four out of ten if y'all just backseat warriors though i'll give y'all 7.9 hey do y'all thing funny enough most of the time these don't be cheating on each other that's a cheat code i'm putting y'all niggas on game that's a cheat code bro if y'all niggas is ever horny in school bro want something easy bro y'all gotta bop in y'all class she's jewels easy Go up to her. Take her jewel, bro. Take her jewel. You may seem like a villain in a moment. You may hear this music in the background. You may hear this music in the background. You may hear that shit. But listen, that's a, that's a, that's an easy moment right there, bro. Easy moment. 
That's free and easy. So, hell, some of them be having threesomes, but we gonna get into that later. Or open relationships. Also, to tell we'll get into that later. Next, we got the power couple. All right, this couple is only together because both of them are popular. That's it. Usually, it's the popular girl and the popular guy. He's most likely an athlete. I never see a power couple. Star QB ever in my life. or a star basketball player. I ain't gonna lie. I never They're see both a power just popular, so they just decide to get with each other. Yeah, most of the time these couples don't work out because a lot of the time they don't actually like each other or have anything in common. They're just getting with each other for the high school clout, I guess. I don't I don't know. And most of the time the guy ends up cheating on the girl or vice versa. And it just it's just a huge mess. And this type of couple always talk shit about each other, bro. They might be worse than a toxic couple. All of their drama is just laid out. Like nothing All the drama about just their goes around the And fight. they also just walk the around like they run to school. Room. Most of the time they think they Jay-Z and Beyonce. But in all reality, they're more of like Kim and Kanye. Seems like it'll be See, a perfect couple, but pictures. it's Aww, really just very so dysfunctional. Aww, all in all, I guess it's a 4.9 out of 10. It's just really like hit or miss with this oh type of couple. A lot of times it's a miss. But sometimes you got some hits and they can be cool. You never know. Next, you got the Beauty and the Beast couple. This is the type of couple where one partner is like a 10 out of 10. Attractive as hell. Y'all like seen that before? Dime piece. But the other one looks like the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Either that or... Have y'all seen those before? I don't think that's one couple I've never seen. I'll pause shit when I say that too. But I don't think I've ever seen a couple where it's like... How the fuck? Like, no. I'll pause. But like, how the fuck? I'm glad nigga pull... You feel me? Her on some shit. Or how the fuck? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they always been... Pause when I say this. But I feel like they, their cuteness level was kind of equal, but just in different genders. Like, you see what I'm saying? Their cuteness level was always equal. You see what I'm saying? If that makes sense. Like, she could have been like an 8 out of 10. He could have been an 8 out of 10. You feel me? Like, pause when I say that. But I'm saying girls would have rated him an 8 out of 10 if he asked. Or, like, niggas would have rated her an 8 out of 10 if she asked. Yeah. Shit like that, bro. You feel me? I feel like they was always either equal or just slightly. One was, you feel me, more... Ugh. Than the other. It was giving more oomph. Or the other one looks like Agatha from Jesse. You kind of get the point, bro. Like, they're ugly. And honestly, these couples usually work out the best. Like, of all high school couples, these are usually the most locked in. Because most but of the I time, the a... attractive person is with the but ugly person ass, because nigga, they genuinely cool. like their personality. And the ugly person is that. usually self-aware that they're ugly and know that they need to treat the attractive person right or else it's not going to work out. So usually, it's a very good dynamic. It may sometimes be unbalanced. I've never seen that in my life. I'm not which is crazy Never. when you think about it, but it kind of just shows you that personality really does matter in a relationship. Most of the time, the girl's very attractive and the guy's ugly in this situation, but you do see a couple Disney movie kind of scenarios where the guy's a 10 out of 10 with a Agatha mixed with Lizzo body type girl. But even still, these couples yeah. are usually always locked in, and these are usually very, very good couples. So I'm gonna give this a 9.9. .9. One of my favorite couples on this list. Lastly, like we got the social media couple. Uh, okay, this is the type of couple that always posts each other on Agatha, social though. media, bro. Like, they're always posting about each like other, they have shows. a fight, all the details are gonna be on social like media. Social media, bro. Like this. Lastly, we got the social media couple. Okay, this is the type of couple. That social media couple. All right, let me talk about social media couples, bro. Personally, bro, I can't, even though I'm a social media influencer and I'll be on social media doing this shit, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't have no social media ass relationship, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, niggas in a relationship, y'all niggas wouldn't even know. <laughs> I'll probably say it. A couple times, but y'all niggas wouldn't even know who I'm talking about or who it is. You feel me? Y'all really, y'all niggas would dead ass not even for real know, bro. I'm just letting niggas know that right now. Because niggas get weird, bro. That's the thing. Niggas get so fucking weird. That's one of the main reasons. Especially doing shit like this, bro. You always meet new people on here, so it's like, bro, shit just always get weird. But, I'm sorry, I can't be in a relationship where she gotta post every little thing that we do. Everything. Like, even if we just go on a run. On a job with my man, my man, my man. No, bitch. No. 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 What are you trying to do? Make nigga, make your make make your homegirls jealous or something? No, don't post that. I'm over here sweating my black ass off, jogging. And you over here talking about some me and my man on a on a run. No, no. They're nigga, always no. posting each other on social no. media. Bro. Like they're always posting about each other. If they no. have a fight, all the details are gonna be on social media. And the relationship is just very public, which is a very bad thing. All right, bro, I'm gonna give y'all some free game. If a couple always posts on social media about how great their relationship is, usually it's not it's that not great. That Honestly, they're probably both miserable and they only post on social media to make everybody think that they're happy. Or they're only together because they're both attractive and they always post on social media to make 
make everybody jealous of their relationship. A lot of times, both of them usually I have exes shit, that they're trying to like flex on, so they post each other on social I hate media that shit so bad, bro. because they're trying to show everybody that, so that they have a good me, relationship. Bro. Most Hell of the time, no. one of them is being on each other, the other bro. one is being toxic and won't take accountability, and oftentimes this relationship ends after a couple months. Nothing really there, just for social media. If you have one of these relationships, stop it immediately. Just keep everything private. Not everything needs to be public. An occasional anniversary post or like, bro, what the fuck? Is cool, but don't post all the time about your relationship. It's just it, a, it's corny and b, it's, cringe, it's not a good. Song. It's all cringe. in all, I will give this one a three out of ten. It's, it's just always gonna be fuck. a bad relationship. It's, and so it's just cringe, annoying dude. to see. All in all, that's pretty much it. Appreciate y'all for watching. There is gonna be a part Bye, two man. for this, maybe even a part three. I got a lot. That'd be like, video, I man. Need a lot of these to do. Tell me if y'all like it. I might make it a series and we might keep on going with it. This isn't my merch, but this is someone else's motion lifestyle. Link in bio. You already. It's a good video, bro. Come on now, go ahead and cop. Video, Follow bro. all the social.